Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create workflows in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2. So we're, uh, I have installed Microsoft Dynamics 2012 in a server right here, and I have fired up client, um, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 client. Uh, just to let you know, the workflows are highly tied with the view uh, up here. Uh, these are the views that uh, whatever, if you wanted to create uh, uh, account payable workflows, you need to go in account payable. And if you need to do it account receivable, you, you're going to use that view and go to the workflows. We're going to, in this demo, we're going to do a system administration workflow. So uh, we're uh, in system administration view. If you don't, if you are not in system administration, you can click on this little arrow or you can click up here in the views and go to system administration. Once system administ administration is opened, you need to uh, go in setup and up here in setup, there is a workflow tab. So you need to expand that and keep in mind these things needs to be uh, configured. Um, and if you have already configured email notification and you wanted to uh, use that parameter, you can do it here. And uh, workflow infrastructure configuration needs to be configured. Uh, I have already configured it, but I'm going to show you how to configure it. Um, you, uh, when you click on um, workflow infrastructure configuration, it'll open up a wizard, and you click next. And you, if you have a specific batch groups, you can uh, select those and click next. And uh, how often you um, repeat the job after specified number of hours? How many hours you can put it here? You can configure that and. Um, um, how often that job should run you can put that there too so you click next and um, if it's not configured uh, it'll um, ask you that um, uh, when you click finish it'll start running right now I since I have configured it already it's all running so I'm not um, I'm gonna cancel that and once you've done that uh, one thing that I want to make sure that uh, the number of sequence uh, before you can use workflows the number of sequence needs to be set if you click on system and if that number of se number sequence is not set you will get an error uh, anytime you try to workflow uh, to create a workflow or you try to use a template it is, it is going to give you an error that uh, a workflow uh, sequence needs to be set uh, so you um, um, contact a system administrator so where you need to set up if you go to the setup and system parameter up here number sequence you need to set up if your number of sequence is not set up your workflow is not going to work and it's not going to let you create workflow so again this is also a resolution to the error that number sequence is not uh, defined contact your uh, uh, system administrator so uh, we're going to close that and we're going to go back to workflows and we're going to click on user workflows. Right now there is no workflow defined so we're going to click on new workflow. And you need to select which kind of work which type of workflow you wanted to create. So I'm going to go ahead and click on user request workflow. This is the user request uh coming from uh, a vendor or um, a new employee is hired or whatever the case may be you need to do that this is related to user request workflow type so we're gonna go ahead and click on create workflow in my previous video I have given overview of workflows in Microsoft Dynamics AX and I was talking about uh, 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 workflows defines as a system and business processes when when we talk about the system as system then these functionalities up here you see on the left side uh, they're defined in um, application object tree and they will uh, it'll help us to actually create the workflow all the functionalities that help us to create a workflow is defined as system uh, uh, processes and uh, and how the workflows goes is defined as business uh, uh, processes so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna create a workflow a anytime you open a workflow you will get a, a start and end if you go all the way down its end you can close this uh, or you can use uh, uh, you know zoom in and zoom out uh, and um, you know look at your uh, workflow if you can't see uh, in one screen what I'm gonna do is move this up 
a little bit so that I can see the whole thing so right now I can see uh, the end and the start of my workflow so since it's gonna be a user request we need to have an approval uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on approve user request move it up here in the pan so we're gonna connect start with the uh, user approval and then we're gonna connect approve user request to the end so since we just completed that we can just save that but we need to do some configuration for this um, uh, um, for this workflow to work for us so what we're gonna do is mostly configuration is going to be around approve user workflow so we're gonna um, click on uh, here and go to the properties if you look at the uh, the properties this I, I haven't clicked on any of that uh, um, uh, item but uh, I just uh, went ahead let me do it again in workflow pan you right click and go to the properties and the first thing that we need to set up is uh, the user uh, request workflow name user request workflow underscore v1 I just wanted to name a different version one so owner would be whoever uh, owner is the person that who actually going to manage this workflow so that needs to be owner so in my case I don't have many users so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on admin uh, if you have uh, set up the email template for workflow notification you can select it here instruction uh, you can just put it please approve user request So you can put it whatever the submission instruction is when when it goes to the user who receives this workflow it um, all the instruction if you wanted to put it here that okay go ahead and approve this or deny this or this is that whatever the instruction that you wanted to put it up here so since uh, uh, we, we're gonna go ahead and uh, close this and now we're gonna click um, up here and um, this uh, let me show you a couple more things up here is a level down and up here is level up in a, a complicated workflows uh, th this really helps if you wanted to switch from one uh, flow task flow to another task flow then you can use a level down or level up sometimes what happened is the screen is not as big and you wanted to to modify the next item and what and uh, uh, rather than clicking if you click on um, level down it'll get you to the next one so uh, it, it makes sure that uh, really you don't uh, uh, modify something that you are not intended to modify so what, what next thing we're gonna do is configure this so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on properties uh, approve request one you can just put it user request v1 click on advanced setting advanced setting use the final approval uh, whoever the uh, final approver is you need to select that in my case again it's admin uh, so we're not um, you know going to um, uh, select any other user so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close that all right so um, if you go level down up here step one you need to click on step one and go to the you can go to the properties like that or you can click on right click and go to the properties in basic basic setting uh, you can um, name whatever you would like to prove the request in uh, item vendor request I'm just putting it out there I'm not even following the um, white instructions uh, just for demo purposes uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on assignment assignment we're gonna go ahead and click on user and once we are done this assignment is that who you wanted to assign user to this workflow uh, element you're gonna click on user whoever you wanted to assign you uh, uh, you need to click on the user ID up here and move that 
down to this side so in my case again uh, this is just a demo uh, I don't have many users in my AX environment so I'm using admin for almost everything so uh, just to make sure that you understand that and we're gonna go ahead once this is done you can also define time limit uh, if uh, when this workflow is going to expire and what it, action it needs to take and if um, you know it needs to be on uh, uh, particular days or not so uh, completion policies you can define it up here single prover majority approvers percentage this is that uh, if it's a complicated workflow then uh, let's say if a uh, 10,000 uh, if I have uh, uh, submitted my expense report at 10,000 and there are three you uh, approver needs to approve it uh, you can get the percentage you can get the majority two out of three or a uh, single user it's up to you right now it's selected as our, our all uh, approvers so that needs to the, that condition needs to be met so we're gonna go ahead and close that so um, basically we're we're done uh, really creating that so we're, what we're gonna do is uh, save and um, close you can provide the version uh, nodes version 1 uh, do you want to activate the new version right now or not I'm gonna go ahead and activate it click OK and as you can see right here if you um, if you select this uh, this is our workflow that has been created and we're gonna select this and we're gonna um, I'm sorry we're gonna uh, this is the workflow we just created and we're gonna click on version if we click on version uh, it's it's activated as as I showed but if we have selected that um, uh, I don't want to activate this uh, this uh, uh, workflow then you can that is will show uh, right here inactive and you can click up here make active and uh, the workflow will be available for anybody who wanted to use it or whoever the user that you have assigned so right now just wanted to show you real quick that uh, click OK so this is how you create workflow in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 you can um, uh, right here is a double if you double click these two arrows and it'll show you the give you option whether you wanted to import it or export it if you wanted to import a different version let's say I wanted to export it and save this workflow and you click here and give the um, uh, you know directory where you wanted to save that workflow so we're gonna go ahead cancel it I'm not gonna uh, export it I'm okay with that I just wanted to show you that you can export your workflow uh, from here so um, you can also once you have created the workflow you can also uh, click that and if you wanted to just look at this is read only if you click at that it'll tell you that it's a read only copy of a uh, user workflow this is the workflow name and it also says read only copy if you wanted to edit that uh, you need to select that particular and click on edit and you can go ahead and edit that workflow anytime that you edit the workflow is going to uh, create a new version and uh, it also you can create reports on different versions as well so this is basically it that how you create the workflow in Microsoft Dynamics AX this is very simple workflow you might get into complicated workflows but um, really uh, these are the same functionalities uh, you will use over and over um, to create the workflow so if you understand each functionality each uh, conditional condition uh, all the workflow items if you understand those it, it won't be hard to create a workflow and I hope it this video helps